Finally, guys, much heating, much sledgehammering. I tried to do this with just a, like a handheld torch and it never, I would have never gotten anywhere. I had to pull out that guy, which I forgot I even owned. But just look at the rust in there. Dang. Yeah, that's the pile of rust. It came out of it. I'm gonna have to clean up in there. This actually, by the time I pounded it out, came out pretty clean. So I'm gonna have to clean up in there and then grease it real well. And of course, not leave this in. You don't wanna leave these in. So I hit this with the wire wheel and I mean, it was pretty, pretty bad. I don't know, it's not gonna show up, the pitting. Heavily, heavily pitted. Hit it with the wire wheel, hit it with the wire brush. Did the vinegar water thing. Sprayed it with more uh, of this rust treatment. It's not perfect. I'm gonna let that dry for a while. And then I'm gonna hit it with some primer and then that bed lining. In the meantime, I gotta try to get these mud flaps on. Those two there, no matter what I tried, I drilled them, tried easy outs, I heated them until they literally started to melt. Couldn't get those broken bolts out. So I just drilled them, tapped them, got some new bolts for that. And I'll hit that with some primer and paint since I burned it off, trying to heat those out. And that's really the only goal for now. Because once again, guys, I don't have time. If I can just get this primed and painted today, I won't even get it installed. Then we'll, we'll you know, I, I would love just to get that far. I am not going to put the back bumper on until I get these cut out and the new piece welded in. Because otherwise these corners, I can't access them with the bumper. She got painted, so if it dries, maybe we'll get it up today. I got the plastics on, all up in there, all those plastics. Got the mud flaps on. So let's see how far I get on this today. The sun, I wish I was in a shop, but so I use this two by four. and a couple big uh, pry bars. Took these off, which we need. We're gonna, use, we're gonna use those. But I was able to get down in the sides because they were quite dented in. And I was really actually able to pop them out pretty close. A few little dents. And kind of like, it's probably not gonna show up this sun, but a little dent right there. The biggest thing is the corners. So I think I got most of these broken loose up in here in this corner. And it seems like it's still hanging on. And then I went ahead and drilled in here because I think for now, I'm gonna cut clear up to this where they had the graphics line. So I'm gonna cut it pretty high. Part of me, got to thinking if I shouldn't be replacing the whole entire corner. Oh, actually, hold on a minute. So that might be the way to roll. If I were to drill these out and along this bed, I gotta see if this edge is good on my donor, but it may behoove me to come into here somewhere and just cut, cut straight down so I'm not out here in the field welding. We're gonna have to check this out, guys. I 
have no reason to believe that that top line is not okay. Yeah, let's look into that. Got one side off. And that's number two. So what I got going on here, so I've got these off. And uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna use of them, but I'm liking this plan much better. Unfortunately, like I've said before, they cut those out for some big bushwhacking things. Otherwise, this would have been pretty simple and straightforward. And then, uh, yeah, there's dents. We got a doozy in there. None of this shows up probably with this sun. They're pretty dented, but we'll see what we can do. So I've been pounding on this a little bit and pretty pleased with how these corners, and these corners had some pretty deep, deep grooves. Pretty, pretty happy actually with how they're coming out. Of course, there's gonna be a little bondo. I've got more pan pounding to do. You gotta remember a bumper does go over this. So, you know, this really isn't on show. I've got up in here some wavy. Little high spot right there. And another little high spot right there. And when you feel this way, there's a dent right in there. But the rest of this top seems pretty good. So, basically guys, what I'm trying to do, as always, is budget. Now here's the corner that I thought I would not be able to use at all. This one was very, very severely pushed in. If you look at some of the other videos, and I have pounded most of it out just roughly with a hammer. Obviously, I've got a lot more body work on that to do. Other than that, a little dent that I can feel right in there. And then some dents up here on, there's like a body line right in here. A few dents up in here, high spots and low spots. And then all right in here, basically about the size of my hand is a low spot. That, when I press on it from the inside, oil cans. So I'm gonna have to heat that up and do some shrinking. But I'm just talking overall, guys. Yes, a little bit of Bondo. But as you can see, the main point, there's no rust on these, really, none. So what I've got to do is come to here and figure out because they cut it way back into here, it would have been so handy just to come into here, cut that off. But I'm missing this part here. So I'm gonna have to figure out where into here I can come and go down. I'm gonna have to utilize this part, but I'm gonna have to cut out down this way so that I'll have a welding seam somewhere from about there, up, 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 to some point, and then straight up. That'll be my welding seam. But it's gonna be a lot better than also adding a welding seam across here. So, so I'm liking the plan, basically. I'm liking the plan. So I just have that sitting up there, but you can kind of see I bent those tabs down, but I don't think I don't think reality is welding all those up. I think they're gonna have to be cut off. So if I cut those tabs off, you can kind of see far how far back I'm gonna have to save. I don't I don't know. I, I think we can make it work. It certainly gives this whole back end some better metal because you can see how how badly it's rusted all right guys here is the dealio 
I have got that panel, that panel. Here is the problem. I've got what's rest, the rest of today, basically. It's uh, almost noon now. And I've got tomorrow. And then these at least have to be welded on the truck. I, I spent some time pounding these corners out. These were pretty bad. And then I think it's gonna show up. Oh yeah, it shows up. All this kind of crap in here. I'm not gonna get out of these without Bondo. And you can't probably really see it. Oh, there's a little divot right there. It's just kind of wavy. I will work on this more with a hammer and dolly. This actually probably looks worse than how it feels. It's really not that bad. This is behind the bumper, so I'm not overly concerned. I'm gonna take a look at this one here. We've got the same thing going on. Kind of some high spots in here. Dent it in right in here. And then of course, all this in here. So let me kind of work on those. Oh, there's a little high spot there. And then I'm gonna kind of reevaluate. Basically what I'm saying is once I cut these out, those have got to be welded in. That's what I'm saying. I'm still not sure yet if I'm gonna go clear up over the top. Uh, I'm leaning that way. I don't know. Let me do some math and uh, we'll turn this back on. So kind of got them stripped down. Instead of drilling out these tacks, what I'm gonna try to do is grind. Just come in with the grinder and grind the heads off. So I'm not left with big gaping holes that I have to completely weld up. Never tried it that way, but I'm going to. So let's get started. That's not a big deal. What's a big deal is down at the bottom. I need all the new metal I can get because I do have some rust down in here. And when marking, I've got to make sure that I'm kicked all the way that way. Same on this side. You can see where I've grind it a little bit right there there's pinholes and i might have to fill that out with other metal i don't know i'm going to do the same on this side we're going to take these donors cut all this crazy crap off set it up there and mark and i'd rather make i'd rather make a couple cuts you know as many cuts as i need what i do not want is i cut too much material out I'm gonna I'm gonna be pissed off. So guys, a little frustrated to see that the bondo keeps on going up even further. Uh where it stops, I don't even know. I was hoping that the bondo is just kind of in the area of the rust, but nope. So who knows maybe at some point i find a good deal on a bed i can't even find a bad deal on a bed so for the sake of 200 dollars, we'll see you know i mean i should be able to get a lot of life out of it it's not gonna be perfect but the truck's not perfect and i'm gonna be adding bondo anyway so the bondo is not a terrible problem coming over here you can see same scenario on this place. So I've kind of hit this with the wire wheel and then sandpaper and then vinegar water. Then I rinsed it. I'm gonna wipe it down to degrease it. And I'm gonna hit it with that spray that you treat rust with. Then I'm gonna hit it with primer, both that side and on the inside. Yeah, see, Bondo, Bondo, all this is Bond, you know, got Bondo on it. It's not overly thick, but it's there. And I, I know I got some trimming in here. I'm afraid to do all the trimming at once. I'm thinking about tacking a point here. 
and kind of trimming as I go, I guess. Not really sure on what to do. So basically it's about, I don't know, three, four o'clock. So, and that's day number one. So I don't know guys. There's my scrap pile that I've got going on. I also hit these with sandpaper and a wire wheel, same routine. We'll get those primed as well. It's probably about four o'clock on day number one. Remember, this has got to be done tomorrow. Shortly here, I'm gonna go buy some supplies. I got them cut pretty close. Having a little bit of an issue. I know I'm good up in here, and then I know down in here I've got to do some trimming. I'm afraid to do all the trimming at once. So I'm thinking about tacking, you know, tacking my tack points and then slowly kind of uh, making it fit. I'm not really sure. Yeah, you can see the Bondo dust. Bondo, Bondo, who knows? Maybe the whole side's Bondo. But that's where we're at, guys. I don't know if this is the way to go, but I, I have tried to find a bed. And I, I did find, in all my searches, I found one bed. And it was $900. That wasn't even shipping. It was $900. And the bed was in worse shape than this one. All right. So, got these primed out. This side primed out. And the insides, hit them with a coat of primer. Where I'm at right now is just letting those dry. And then I think I'm gonna hit them with this stuff. They only had one can and this stuff doesn't go very far. So I'm trying to think here. I should probably spray the outer fenders if I have to choose one or the other. All right, guys, gonna film a little update here because it's kind of starting to get dark. I've got from the top down to about there tacked on both sides. I've got a couple tacks on the inside back here and kind of about in there. Not bad. I got some more cutting and fitting down in there to do. And I've got some finessing kind of down in this area. But I've got all this fitting pretty good. And then we'll tack those. Got it tacked here. Some of those are tacked. But as far as the body lines, that's pretty dang, dang good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Same, same here, a little hard to tell at the cord. And I got, a, got the same thing going on. I got it clear down to there tacked. And then I've got some cutting down in there today, but I'm gonna call it a day. We'll continue on it tomorrow. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do down here. This is where they had it cut. But we'll get all that buttoned up. And who knows? I'd like to think I'd get a coat of Bondo on that, but I doubt it. So then I've got hours probably. Tack, 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 tacking all that in, filling it in before I can even grind it and sand it. So guys, one thing I thought about is from this stage, what I best do is put my tailgate back on. So I get my heights, make sure they're correct. Also my gaps on both sides, make sure all the gappage is correct. 
put the tailgate on and then I can tack with the tailgate on, pull the tailgate back off if I have to, but not too shabby. I like it. All right, I couldn't wait for tomorrow. So I put my tailgate on. Pretty good on this side. Over here, not good. So being we just have tacks, not a problem. We will break some of the tacks, what is needed and lift this up. So glad I checked that and didn't do any complete welding. And I guess this could actually go down just a smidge. So we'll make it perfect tomorrow. I like the, I like the gap. I think that's going to be fine. And uh, obviously this in here has got to be sucked in quite a bit, quite a big gap. Guys, I think that this bed, the original one had been, well, hence the Bondo and stuff, but it just, things aren't fitting right. And I'm just wondering if it was cattywampus from some sort of an accident. Either way, we're gonna get all that looking good tomorrow. What we're gonna do is leave the tailgate on while we address all that crap. Back at it. First thing I'm concentrating on this morning is I got the bed tacked up. That is much better. And where I'm having some hard, kind of a difficult time, I guess, is I gotta make sure that these lights kind of fit in there correctly and all the gaps. This I had to pull out and I just used a uh, come along and I'm gonna have to shape this more. You can see where there's this bend in here where I pulled it, but I got it close. I am tacked down here. This is a lot of damage that was in the original piece. Uh, not a problem. None of that's tacked down there. Got the jack pushing it up. And then on this side here, I had to push the bed in for these two screws and the light to be able to screw in and just to get my gaps right. And I'm noticing on the other side I got the two inside screws in, but these aren't even close to the holes. But this bed here, and I'm not tacked yet, I'm gonna have to pull this side out. So the other one had to come in, this side's gonna have to be pulled out. Because you can see, that's a little far in there, I need it to be out. So that's kind of what we're messing with this morning is to make sure that these tail lights are gonna fit in there uh, pretty decent anyway. I'm not gonna use the word perfect. Once I can get the tail lights in perfect, then we'll work on these bed corners, you know, getting our gaps correct. And once I get those tacked, then we'll come back and kind of address, you know, we only tack down on both sides down to about here. So we'll dress these bottom corners. I don't know if I'm gonna get it done. It has to be done today. I don't think I'll get it all welded, but even if I just got them all tacked, uh, you know, adding some more tacks, I don't wanna leave it just such few tacks, but then I can always just kinda sand it a little bit, primer it for now just so I'm ready to go back to work. So that's what we're doing. So this is where I'm at. I pulled this out, put the lights in. I'm just trying to mock up, make sure I like the gaps between the bed, the lights. I had to hammer this in up here. I had to pull this out. You can kind of see the reveal on the side. 
Um, Toyota kind of has this little angle and I'm trying to get this light kind of level with kind of where you see the split in the color between the light and this dark in here. It's not 100% perfect, but it doesn't look ridiculous either. And that gap, a little heavier up here, a little lighter down here, but we do not have this welded yet. So we can kick this out just a smidge and we will. Looking at this side. Kind of the same thing, we're a little heavy and I think a lot of it is, is just the pickup bed itself through the years, uh, you know, like the sides maybe getting pushed out. So what I might do is put the bed down and put a come along in between and kind of pull the two sides together. Down in here, I'm gonna have a lot of hammering to do and kind of body work because that whole line that comes up is pretty jacked. But that's all tacked. That's all kind of where it's gonna go. And you can see the reveal on this side. Uh, this side actually I, I like a little bit better. But either way, nothing's really shouting, you know, way off, at, at least, you know, to me. This side is completely tacked, even clear underneath. So this side is 100% ready to completely weld. I've got that all tacked. I've got all the insides tacked. Once it's all welded, then I'll straighten, kind of once it's grounded, these are ground down, I will straighten this rail here. So now we're gonna jump to this side. We'll tack all these. After I tack those, we'll come down here and fit all this in, figure out how that's gonna go get that all tack welded and then get these tacked and then this back part tacked but I do like this profile it, it turned out nice I'm not even sure I'm gonna get it all welded today we'll see how the day goes so down in here I am using these some of these metal tabs that they had cut on their pickup and then they'd bent them back to put these big brush whacking things. Uh, I had some rust in here and so these which were bent completely back under I've straightened back out. Uh, this one here I've cut I'm gonna tack it here and here. I cut a bit much out there. I'll have to patch that. Once I get this one tacked I'll cut this one and I'm just, I guess, planning on kind of slowly working myself clear down. Then we'll come back and fill this in with a piece of something. So guys, this is gonna uh, be as far as I get on this set of days working. It's kind of getting late in the day and I'm kind of exhausted. And quite frankly, I got to get up at 4 a.m. and head to work. So I'm going to call it. I got it as far as I'm going to get it for now. I did not get it completely welded up. I just got all that tacked. I did grind. I tried to finish in where the lights go and then down in there, up in here on both sides. Got those ground down. I wiped them down with degreaser. I'm just gonna hit them with primer for now. Get my lights back in. I have some other stuff I was hoping to work on, but I'm pretty exhausted. So I'll film once I kind of get all this cleaned up and then maybe uh, that'll be it for this video. So there she is guys, done for now. I can't believe this weather, 80 some degrees out. It's just ridiculous. So bright, I can't hardly film. 
and I've been working in the sun all day. It's getting, I don't know, close to five and it's just still boiling hot. Uh, you know, to, you, you know, you should quit when you start effing up everything and stumbling over everything. So this is it. This is as far as I got. A lot more work to do. I just basically roughed out. That's as far as I got it. I would say that's probably probably the halfway point. Uh, can't even film in this sun. Useless even filming out here in the sun. So I'm going to go ahead and post this. This will just be kind of like the roughing end of the bed. I don't know if I'll make a separate video doing the rest of that. I probably won't because it's not going to be that entertaining. Not that I film even myself working. That's it, guys.